Hello everyone, back to into today's first video, doing January Friday for today's first video. So as was on Friday, we're having a detailed uh, month head look at with the JMA and CFS V2 models. This will take us well into April. So um, we'll be seeing what's happening as we go further on into the spring uh, with the month head look at uh, today. Just say that coming up um, later on uh, this afternoon, we'll have your week to 10 day video update as usual. And uh, then this evening, we've got um, the latest so update that will be with you around seven o'clock this evening. Quite an interesting uh, watch that one's going to be. See what's happening in the Equatorial Pacific in terms of El Nino. But starting us off today will be uh, JMA Friday. So these are the 500 millibar height anomaly flow charts from the uh, JMA. We're looking at the North Pole view down. So this is the North Pole uh, of the Northern Hemisphere just here. And the latitudes Northern Hemisphere are around there. Uh, red, yellow and orange extrapolating to uh, above average heights, which is high pressure, blue to below average heights, which is low pressure. It's a breakdown to weekly pairs. The first weekly pair will take us from the 22nd through to the 29th of March. So the uh, coming week has an area of above average height centred over the UK with below average heights out to the north and the northwest of us in the middle of the North Atlantic. The jet stream is pushed northwards as well. Jet stream is going off into that sort of position. So we're under a large ridge of high pressure. We're dominated by dry and fine conditions in the week ahead. Um, and probably quite warm as well. I suspect we'd be drawing the winds up from a southerly southwest direction. So a lot of dry and uh, pleasantly mild if not uh, warm weather coming up uh, in the week ahead under that ridge of high pressure. We go through to week two. This one takes us from the 29th of March through to the uh, 5th of April. And we have an area of above average heights up to our northeast and also out in the middle of the Atlantic. Below average heights are up there around Greenland and Iceland. The jet stream again is pushing north to some degree, but we may actually be bringing a little bit of energy into uh, the UK and western parts of Europe from the jet stream. So possibly just slightly more unsettled in this week, but essentially we are still dominated by high pressure. So there would still continue to be a lot of dry weather on offer. And then we go through to weeks uh, three and four. Takes us from the 5th through to the 19th of April. And no real change, actually. Above average heights continue close to the country uh, from the Atlantic into uh, northern parts of Europe. Again, the jet stream is mainly pushed off up there. So it's a two-week anomaly. It might be a little bit transition. It might not be completely dry and high pressure dominated through the whole two weeks. But overall, that looks uh, pretty high pressure dominated for um, weeks three and four. Lots of dry and fine, probably quite mild or warm conditions coming up there. Uh, this is tropical and mid-latitude view. So the British Isles is just here in the top right-hand corner of the chart as you're looking at it uh, with this one. So reminder of the week one, 500 millibar height anomaly with above average height centred over top of the UK. The jet stream is being pushed up to the north as well. So there will be a lot of dry weather on offer in the week ahead. Temperature anomalies are forecast to be above average from the 22nd to 29th of March. The coming week will be milder than average and also relatively dry uh, as well. So a dry, mild, high pressure dominated week uh, coming up for the final week of March. Week uh, two is looking like this. So again, we've got the above average heights in the Atlantic. You can't see Scandinavia on this view, but we know there's also high pressure uh, up there. And kind of like just got a very large ridge that's uh, ridging through the country. So the um, temperature anomaly is coming out again uh, slightly above average, maybe not quite as warm in week two, 29th of uh, March to the 5th of April, but still generally above average uh, with that one. And still on the dry of an average side uh, as well. It's going to be completely dry for the whole, the next two weeks. There will be some patchy rain at times, but overall it's looking like a drier and milder uh, and high pressure dominated couple of weeks coming up. And then we go through to weeks three and four. No changes really above average heights continue very close to the country. Again, the jet stream is moved up to our north. It's up there. Temperature anomalies again are close to or slightly milder than average. It's not desperately warm, but certainly we're on the milder than average side. And under high pressure, we remain generally dry as well. So all looking very, very stable and very quiet, uh, you have to say, for the next uh, for the next month. We have a lot of high pressure influences 
coming up. There will be rain at times. They're not going to be entirely dry for the entire four weeks every single day. So there will be some rain at times. But the, the anomalies, the trends for the next four weeks are looking high pressure dominated, milder or warmer than average, and drier than average too with the JMA. But let's see whether the CFS agrees. So again, these are 500 millibar heights. They're broken down into weekly periods. The first week period will take us from the 22nd through to 28th of March. And the coming week is in agreement with the JMA for above average heights to be centred over the top of the country. Below average heights are up to the north. The jet stream is pushed up to our north as well. So we're under a large ridge of high pressure. There's lots of dry weather coming up in the week ahead. And uh, temperatures will be above average too. Week 2, a little bit different to what the JMA is showing. This is for 29th of uh, March to the 4th of April. We've got above average heights, high pressure over Scandinavia and also in the middle of the North Atlantic. But elsewhere, it's actually turned just a little bit more unsettled uh, through the west of Europe. So the jet stream is digging down something like that. Um, so possibly just a little bit more unsettled as we come to the closing couple of days of March and the opening days of April. It possibly just goes that a little bit more unsettled uh, in that week. But then by the time you get through to week three, which is the 5th to the 11th of April, the high pressure is back in again. It's dominating over Scandinavia this time, and it will be bringing up the winds from a south direction, so I suspect that will uh, bring uh, mainly dry and also quite warm conditions uh, there. And then we're through to week 4. This one is the 12th to the 18th of April, with above average heights then to the north of Scotland and extending back into Scandinavia. Below average heights cut off around uh, Scandinavia, bringing in probably an easterly wind um, with that. Well, of course, the exact origins of those easterly winds would de would be critical to the temperature, to the feel of the uh, weather. But probably not overly cold. It is the middle of April by this point, so I would suspect it's relatively mild uh, with that. And also, um, the main feature with this is that other week too, uh, lots of dry, high-pressure dominated conditions. Uh, temperature anomalies for week one with CFS V2 is going from the 22nd to the 8th of March, generally on the mild of an average side in the week ahead. And week two, which is a slightly more unsettled week, remember, the temperature anomaly is closer to average. And so only sort of average temperature anomalies from the 29th of March uh, to the 4th of April. Week three temperature anomalies are quite significantly above average for much of the UK and through most parts of uh, Europe as well. And then that goes on into week four. It's the 12th to the 18th of April and uh, above average temperature anomalies once again. Actually, weeks three and four are looking warmer with the CFS compared to weeks one and two. Finally, precipitation, which is, uh, we start off with week one, 22nd of March, 28th of uh, 28th March, drier than average in the weekend. It's dominated by high pressure. Then, obviously, we turn more unsettled in week two. It's the 29th of March, 4th of April. Um, um, it's uh, going to average precipitation, which of course is an increase in rainfall compared to week one, which is much drier than average. So the upshot is week two, 29th of March to 4th of April. That one could be a little bit cooler and a little bit more showery. Um, maybe a little bit of rain coming through then. By the time you get through to week three, which is the 5th to the 11th of April, close to average precipitation, I suspect the signal is beginning to weaken now. And then week four is also close to average. So 12th to 18th of April, close to average, possibly hinting at being a little bit drier than average maybe. But I think, again, relatively weak signals. So there's a lot of agreement on offer here between the two models. The, the uh, first week is going to be dominated by high pressure, so the next week can have a lot of dry, fine and pleasantly mild, if not warm weather. Maybe a little bit more unsettled then as we go, come to the very closing days of March and the beginning of April, but it doesn't look like we're going to wait very long at all before high pressure gets back in. And at the moment, April is looking like a relatively warm and pretty dry high pressure dominated month as well. Right, so that's your month head look. Remember, it's only a snapshot. These could uh, look very different 
next week they are prone to chopping and change so big health warning always required with any um any long range model uh, update um the last house looking this week generally uh looks like uh, it's gonna be quite dry for the next month and as we go into april maybe a little bit unsound to start with but then back to drier and uh, pretty warm conditions as we go further on into april we'll be back later on with your week to 10 day video update and then we've got the enso update for march coming up this evening uh, that's all for now, though, and thanks for watching.